Hi everyone, in this video we are taking a look at the Garmin Nuvi 2014 Advanced Series of Automotive GPS and we're going to see some of the similarities and differences between the units in this series. We have seven models in the 2014 Advanced Series. They are the Garmin Nuvi 2539 LMT, the Nuvi 2559 LMT, the Nuvi 2589 LMT, the Nuvi 2599 LMT HD, the Nuvi 2639 LMT, the Nuvi 2689 LMT, and the Nuvi 2789 LMT. Now, to start, there are some things that all of these models have in common. For one, the display is going to be very similar between them. So we have this kind of sleek, flat screen display. This is the 2789 that I am holding. And this is different from some prior models. Here I have it next to the 2797 LMT. You can see it has that kind of black border around it. You get a lot of glare coming off the screen. Uh, the units in this series are going to be a little bit different. We have this nice, high-quality display. Uh, you can see here how well that holds up, and they all are going to have a display like this one. Other features that all of these models have are things like lifetime mapping updates, traffic updates, they're going to give you spoken street names, photo real junction view, active lane guidance, and they come preloaded with a points of interest database. All the units I have here on the table are going to give you all of those features and more. But we do have some differences here. So we basically have these sorted into three groups, the 25 series, the 26 series, and the 27 series. And the differences between them is the screen size. All the units down here at the bottom, the 25 series, have a display that is 5 inches when measured on the diagonal. Units in the 26 series have a display that is 6.1 inches, again measured on the diagonal. And the 2789, of course, has a display that is 7 inches when measured on the diagonal. Uh, we have some other features different between them as well. I'm actually going to remove a couple of these and come back to them in a second. So we are left here with 39s and 89s, 2539, 2639, and then 2589, 2689, 2789. There are a couple features that the 89s have that the 39s do not. One is Bluetooth. These three units over here uh, come with Bluetooth, which means you can pair it with your phone and you can use your GPS to place hands-free calls. You can access your phone book. You can place calls through your points of interest database. 39s do not have that feature. Uh, another thing that the 89s are going to give you is voice commands. So you can speak certain commands to your GPS, like view the map, you can start a route, you can control the volume and the brightness. The 89s will give you that, the 39s will not. We did have a couple that we pulled out here. I'll bring those back in. One is the 2559 LMT. This is sort of in between the 39 and the 89. This model has a 5-inch screen. It has Bluetooth. It does not have voice command, but this one comes preloaded with maps of North America and Europe. So if you do a lot of overseas traveling, this is going to be a really good option for you. Although you could add mapping to any of the units that we're looking at in this video, this one just comes preloaded with Europe out of the box. The final one we had was the 2599 LMT HD. This is similar to the Garmin Nuvi 2589 LMT. As a matter of fact, it's going to give you all of the features of the 89, but this comes with an HD traffic receiver. So that is going to update more frequently. It's going to give you more detailed traffic information on your GPS. This feature, though, is only for the US. HD traffic is not available in Canada at as of yet. So that is a quick overview of the 2014 Garmin Nuvi Advanced Series of Automotive GPS.